Real Life Street Stars. Man, we in here with, if not legendary already, but mm. soon to be legendary, Jay White, man. Jay White did it, man. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, Jay man. Hey, it. man. Now, let's go ahead. Let's not even be modest. Let's not even be modest, man. Let's go ahead and tell them, uh, tell them uh, what it is you do, man, and what's the claim to fame, man. Am I cleaning the thing? I cook, man. That's what I do. You know, I, I, no, I'm talking about real food, real chicken, you know, uh, neck bones, collard greens. Yeah. Yo. Uh, y'all, <laughs> y'all brought me in here because of my good recipes. That's right. He ain't bring no you know food in this dish, though. You know, no. hey, my number one, my number one food is Bodak Yellow, you know, right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Man. Everybody get a taste of that right now. Bodak Pause. Yellow. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me give it up. Hold Everybody get a taste this, of that right hey, now. Hey, 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 can you tell them, can you tell them where you're, where you're from, though? Okay, so. All right. Yeah, man, it's hard to <laughs> Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm from Kansas City, right? Yeah. But I've been in Dallas nine years. So if Dallas accept me, you nah, know nigga, I'm still. You, you in the uh, Dallas drought. Yeah, Dallas major. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas major. <laughs> all right, well, Dallas made me. Okay, listen. I rep Dallas all day. Go Cowboys, you know what I'm saying? But still the Chiefs, though. Still the Chiefs, though, but I, I, I love the Cowboys, too. Sit down on the other side, so we ain't tripping. We ain't doing no tripping. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, oh, all right. You know what I'm saying? Man, hey, to be to be honest with you, bro, like yeah. the first time I heard about y'all, I, I was listening to my radio, Street Swag Sunday. You had an interview with Chris, uh, Chris Shout AV. out Chris Cole. Chris Shout Cole. out my nigga Chris, man. K104. And then he's telling me, man, we got the guy that made Bodak Yellow, the hottest song in the country. And I'm like, damn, he's from the Triple D. Yeah. I was like, how the fuck? We don't know. <laughs> you know, like one of the things I think, um, especially in Dallas, is the people that are doing the damn thing don't really get the recognition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was good to actually hear that interview, man. But how does it feel, bro, to be from Dallas, bro, and to have a record that big right now that's just bubbling? Man, question of my life right now. How do it feel? Uh, I feel like about time, really. You Real know what shit. I mean? That's, that's what, what, that's what like. every producer, I'm sure, is like, it, bro, about time. As many beats time. as I didn't made. I'm saying I didn't made like <laughs> one million beats in the past two years. Yo. You know what I mean? It like, it, 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 feels, it feels amazing, and honestly. Just, and just to put it out there, you know, um, I think it was uh, Saturday. Um, this past Saturday, they had something in Dallas called Trap Karaoke. And, uh, and shout out Cardi B, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Bodak Yellow came on, and uh, it shut the shit down. I mean, it shut the, like, where niggas are knowing the song, and, and dudes are singing it louder than females. I, I, haven't, I haven't seen something like that in a while, man. Tell us, um, even with the Bodak Yellow, how did that track come about? Uh, yeah. How was working with Cardi B? Just tell us the, the, how that came into existence, man. Man, you know, I was in the um, studio room just at my manager's house in New York just making records, man, just making yeah. some beats. And I was doing some R&B tracks. I was playing R&B oh, yeah. beats, man, <laughs> literally. Yeah. And Cardi was in the other room. She stormed out the room and was like, yo, Jay White, yo, what are you doing? You know, I, yeah. I said, I want to In that Cardi beats. B voice, yeah. Yo, yeah. Well, I can't do a Cardi B, but what are you doing? And I was like, God, let me just, yeah. yeah. Fix myself up. Cardi came in here, You're right. and uh, I just started making a Bodak yellow type beat. I was just like, "Yo, let's let's get trapped," you know. And she came back in the room. She started bobbing that head. She started pause, but she started bobbing her head and whatnot <laughs> like that. And next thing you know, Bodak yellow just it came out. Now, nah, bro, do you have another? Do, is that the hardest beat that you ever made? Cause that motherfucker is hard, bro. You know what? To me, <laughs> hell, that, that was ten minutes. I mean, yeah. if you want to be honest. And I and I was asking you uh, earlier. I was like, when you make a beat like that, yeah, do you think it's gonna be what it is? You know what I'm saying? Cause I know you were saying we're making lick, yeah, with a uh, her and offset. Yo. You thought that was gonna be the hit. Yeah, look, I cried when I made lick. I was yeah. like, yo, I was in <laughs> tears. I was like, Lord, sweet Jesus, man, God. it's coming together. It's coming. I, together. I said this is already gonna get me over the hump. Yeah. God, it's about time. We got offset, bad and bougie. We got yo. I'm lit, and uh, we made Bodak. I was like, "Well, lick, uh, I like it." <laughs> so, so but Bodak is. Mm. Hey, but uh, you know it's crazy because let them know you made the lick song with I Cardi lick. B. Also, yeah, I made lick. Yeah, I thought that was gonna be a hit, also, bro. Because it should have been. It, I mean, the song was tight. It was on Insecure. Honestly, the show on HBO. Yeah, no, exactly. And it wasn't until I think Offset was, uh, you know, you know, Charlie. How, how did you feel about that, that whole what? Offset and Cardi B and you know him wanting what he wanted? A mid, a five hundred thousand. I don't, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know nothing about you that. Just make, I, <laughs> hey, listen, I, I, I stay just away it from Instagram, all that. Yeah, you don't believe everything you see on uh, the. the I, I don't, I don't know nothing about what you know she do on uh, what they discuss. <laughs> I was happy about Offset having on the record, but as far as the, I don't. Mm -hmm. 
Hell yeah, hell yeah. Tell us, uh, go ahead and run down um, as far as track list, man, as far as people you work with, man. Go ahead and let them know what it is. Um, man, you know what? Uh, I start with Dallas people first. Uh, yeah. Fat Pimp, shout out to my bro, Fat shout Pimp. Out, shout out Fat Pimp. Uh, Trey Ward, I did Any More For Him, which is, hell I yeah, think, that. most slept on record. Yeah, man, I thought you know, that was, ever. and to me, that is still the one that, you know, I mean, depends on the kind of push. That was the one right there for Trey that, Ward. That man. was the one, man. That was, that was that record that, you know, I, I cried too. I was like, yo. <laughs> I cried. I made that beat. It took a week for that beat, though. I was just like, if this ain't the best R&B track I've made in the past six weeks, man. I was Tell like, it. Jesus. He ate it, man. He ate and, it. You know, but um, Plies, uh, Pleasure P, um, yeah. Fetty Wap, Two Chains, E Forty, Two Short, uh, man. Uh, who else? Could, who I think of uh, Waka Flocka, Kevin Gates, Lyrica Anderson, Latoya Luckett, ah. Cardi B. Hey. You know, uh, Offset. Now, just with Bodak. Yeah, doing, doing what it's doing. Everybody calling. I'm, I'm talking about shoot preachers calling right now. I mean, <laughs> right. Bro, we, need, we got this guy. We got Mary, Mary in the back. They need a uh, Mary, no. Mary, Mary, Mary want a a, a, a Bodak savior. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking, Mary. Yeah. If y'all watching, oh, yeah. man. One of the things in the interview that stood out to me that made me damn near feel proud was yeah. when you said. Uh, they asked you about was you gonna leave the city, and you was like, "Nah, I'm gonna make them come to our city, and I'm gonna yeah, make yeah. them come out here and do work." Yeah, bro, I don't, you know, I don't really see too many people with that mentality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Explain that mentality because I do think if people didn't leave the city and actually stayed in the city and made people come here, yeah, it could be a whole different type of city. Man, great, great question, man. Honestly, yeah. though, Dallas is it's dope, man. It's a big city, man. It's full yeah. of money, full of talent, full of cre uh, creative people. We have melting pot like New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like everybody move here to get their chips up and we got lots of land, it's cheap, yeah. nice houses, beautiful yeah. women, be beautiful, you know, I, I can't say men, you're just good looking people is here, you know what I mean? And exactly. I, I, I like, why would I leave here? You know, I can go to LA in a short amount of time, I can go to New York, Miami, I'm in the middle. I, I, I love Texas, I love Dallas, man. I think that we're the next city to go, man. I'm not even trying to be arrogant, I, I just think that Real talk, man. You know what I mean? We just ain't no, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't just no layover, man. Nah, nah, man. <laughs> we ain't no. just no layover, man. Nah, <laughs> I think we're bigger. I think, I think we're yeah. bigger than than what you know everybody label us as. You know what I mean? I, I think, mean, thanks to talent like you, and saying you're gonna keep them here. And it's funny because even like what you were saying earlier was as far as there are uh, the entities trying to get you out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. once you become a certain yeah, status, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's a little cheaper to you know. Stay here instead of flying. You out here yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, Work in L.A. Work in New York. Just move out here. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm good. It, I'm, it takes I'm good. it takes a, it takes a, Texas, a true man. native, yeah, to just yeah. say, man, nah. Plus the real estate out here is just a little better. Bro, man. I'm not ever leaving Dallas. I don't care what I'm about. Look, there you go. <laughs> like, like, he, said you know, he, he said it here. Oh, he said it here. Oh, clap it up. Clap it up. <laughs> clap it up. Nah, but hey, but hold on. Wait, wait, wait. They said ten million now. I'm not just. Let me go. He's out of here. Real. If not, he gonna have that house here. Man, um. With you know all saying? the artists that you said you work with, man, you got a lot of platinum selling artists that yeah, you man. have worked with. Yeah. Did you ever think that it was gonna be a reality star that had this kind of push for your for for a beat that you made? Bro, honestly, I never thought about it. I never thought about working with like at first a like Cardi B. You know yeah. what I mean? But we got the same manager, and it happened last year. You know what I mean? Like What's up? around this time last year, I flew to New York, and I was visiting my cousin, and I called my manager Shaft. Shout out to Shaft, KSR. And um, I said, yo, I'm in town. I ain't talked to him in a couple of years, man. Yeah. He gave me my first shot ever. You know That's what I mean? And, uh, and when you say first shot ever, what does that mean? Because, you know. Man, I was 19 years old. I moved to New York, bro. Yeah. 05. I met Shaft, and he put me to put slave work. Yeah, he put you in the dough. It was slave work, bro. Yeah. Oh, it was hot, no food. I, I ate White Castles for two months straight. <laughs> there you go. I, I mean. That's work. I, I, I mean, it was just. He would go out because he, you know, did Lil' Kim's albums, and he's working with Diddy, and, you know, he's a producer as well. Yeah, and so. I linked back up with him, what, 10 years later, man, and he had Cardi B. He said, yo, yo come by the house. Came by the house, played beats for Cardi. Now we're here, you know what I mean? I mean, the, I think the video as of right now as we speak, I think it's about to touch, yeah, I think it just touched 30 million. 30 million. I think it just touched 30 million. I mean, do, does it make you, like, how does it make you feel that kind of reaction on people? And not only that, does it feel like a low key celebrity at this point? Or is it Man, I don't feel like I don't feel like nothing right now. I, I mean, what I do feel like is I gotta work harder because I got that itch because I want another yeah. thirty mil. You know what I'm saying? Like I want this to go a hundred mil. Honestly, I was like, this record, oh, go. 
This is, if we go 100 mil, you know, I'm buying everybody McDonald's around here. You hey, know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey college, about to, <laughs> college about to start homecoming and these college about to start. This is going to be the anthem at the next PV uh, Grambling game. Hey, hey right, question, I got a question, man. Um, Me and my boy Keith, right? We uh, we go around, we, we film the uh, the producers uh, cooking up. Yeah. And one of the biggest complaints that I hear from the uh, producer community yeah. is the lack of credit they receive from these artists when they're doing things. Like, they feel like they don't, you know, they just – want to get tagged or mentioned or yeah. you know what I'm saying um why do you think that the producers go get you know go, go so unappreciated man because I feel like honestly I had that problem until you know uh Cardi right. honestly you know Cardi she understands the um system of uh appreciation right and uh loyalty you know but um some artists you know they're not educated maybe I, I don't know you know I can't speak for everybody but I just know if you doing something for me and I know I have a platform and I can help you out more, I'm going to tag you. But sometimes these artists don't want us to, you know, grow, you know what I mean, and stay with them and, you know, keep, you know, just stay with their sound, so. Yeah, do you think it's uh, more of like because producers, not saying they oversaturate themselves, but they make so many beats. Yeah. That, you know, it'd be a beat they made two years ago and they moved on, they done made 100, you know, 300 yeah. other beats. Yeah, man. To where if they their beat does come up on, you know, NBA Live or NBA, uh, NBA yeah. 2K or Grand Theft Auto or uh, artists get it, that it's like, they just, they just like the recognition, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you, yeah. is that a stigma or is? I know. I mean, or is it more who, of a business now? Like, I nah, mean, we, I mean, who don't want recognition for their work? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, shout me out. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. So, so if you uh, if you see uh, on uh, Pornhub.com somebody uh, you know getting down to uh, Cardi B song, you be like, are you gonna just feel happy? You gonna be like, wait, now nah, take that down. I'm gonna need. Hey, <laughs> you can't be. I, I mean, hey, hey, listen, man, look. Our music is for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, our Real music, time. our music is is a light. You know, you know how the light come on and it lights the whole room up. There you go. That's, that's, that's our music, man. We cover weddings, whatever. I there mean, yo, go. that's that's what we do. But hey, if you want to get down to Bodak or Lick or uh, anything else we done, done, why not? I exactly, mean, exactly, exactly. I'm man, with we, it. And we don't want to put you in no box, man. What all genres can you actually? Touch on man, produce man. What all? I, mean, man, I know you said R and B. We can make one up right now. We and that, 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 I do that. You could know, you go, could you go country? I already done that already. Oh man, oh man. Could you go I, rock? Huh? Could you go rock? I've done it already. Our guitar, okay, all right. So yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, Come on, yeah. Man. You know, I, um, I got a, I got a record with Big Smo, and he, he's a country uh, artist, you man. You know, uh, yeah, I got a record with him, man. I mean, I can do. Bro, I can do everything. There like you literally, go, man. Got to be multiverse. Got to be multiverse. Everything, man. Man. Man, man, man. What, what, who would you like to produce for? Man, first of all, hold on. I've wore the wrong jacket because this thing is tight as hell. I ain't got in front, y'all. Yeah. Don't even cut this part out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Nah, we keep it out. Hey, hey, the more money you get, the tighter the clothes you know what I'm get. Saying? I'm, I'm just like, like yo, I, I was feeling real bodaki, but now I'm just like, you know what? We're going to have to switch it up in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to be in shorts and a tank top here in, in a minute. Y'all, the air, God, Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, nah, facts. We in the hot box. Hey, hey, we still, we still on the grind, y'all. So, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's hot, I love it. No, it's I hot love it. I'm talking about my jacket. I'm just like, Jesus, it's, it's, man. Yeah, it's a sun in the back of me right now. I ain't gonna in front y'all. Man, um, who are some of the people that you that you haven't worked with yet that you want to work with? Man, um, Beyonce, man, Beyonce, uh, Rihanna, of course, Jay Z. Um, Real talk. Man, honestly, anybody who want to work with me, I want to work with them, honestly. You know what I mean? That's what I'm about. Honestly, I like breaking new artists. Yeah. Cardi B is my favorite artist I've ever worked with. I'm not going to front you. Only because, like, she was underestimated, man. Like, nobody yeah. believed in Cardi. Nobody took her serious. Yeah, no, facts. Me, myself, I'm always second place in the studio. I'm always second place. Yeah. My song be like, yo, it's hot, it's hot. But we're going to go with this single right here. I'm like, but it's, oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. But it's going to come on. You're, you're going to come back to mine. And they always, you know what, let's go to Jay White. But our budget's depleted. <laughs> now. It's our budget's completely. <laughs> now, Jay White, we're going to, you're you, you going to get back in. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to push this record out as far as it can go when it's done in the month. Because no, they have no money to push the record. I'm just like, why Matt, me? Matt, is, is, is the ticket on the Jay, uh, uh, Jay White? Yeah, what? J, Jay White, right? Yeah, J, yeah. Jay White. Did yeah, it. Ticket, uh, j, uh, the ticket on the Jay White beat at this point. Uh, <laughs> they got to coat that. <laughs> they got to coat them M's. 
What? <laughs> I, I mean, you know what? My, my price rise with the billboard, man. I'm just saying, there yo. you go. There you go. Hey, keep, <laughs> keep checking the billboard. You know what I'm saying? That's what you call credentials. I'm just saying, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm, I'm going to. Fam, I'm on the billboard, bro. I mean, like, yeah, like, listen, man, listen, credentials, man. I, I mean, my, I'm just saying, check the credentials. I gotta, you know, I gotta eat. Real talk, but family feed, man. Me, you, you are gonna eat. Look, look at Cardi. You Real know talk. what I'm saying? Look, and, he, and he's and, and and it's the producers' game now, man. From the Mike Wills, from the uh, Mustards, yeah, uh, I like Kanye's, man. Yeah. Um, it's the producers' world, man. To do what kind of what you want to do with. Yeah, man. Um, is the only thing you do as producer, or do you do anything else? Uh, I know you said you're a master chef. Now, uh, <laughs> nah, dude, what, I mean, because most producers start off as like rappers, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get yeah, them. Get nah, behind. not me. Oh, nah, straight, nah. Straight to the. I was playing drums at church. I was in church seven days a week. There you go. And then, uh, Thank you, mama. <laughs> after that, uh, Producing man, I I was watching Timberland back in the day, man. Like oh, yeah. I was, Shout out Timberland, man. I was 14, 15 Shout years old. I was, I was trying to do the Leah beat. You know what I'm saying? Are yeah. you that somebody? And I said, Yo, I gotta make beats. I gotta be Timberland. So in eighth grade, I was literally, uh huh. What, baby girl? Come on. What? Yeah. I didn't figure it. I was literally. I thought I was Timberland. I was beating on tables. And I'm everything. telling you, man. Timberland had I, everybody I, turned up, man. I love Timberland, man. I thought I was him. I'm like, Yo, just call me Tim. Yeah. Just call me. In, in, in school, I was Tim. Tim that was come, my name. I know Tim. Tim out here in Dallas, man, uh, checking out producers too, man. So shout out Timbo, man. Um, shout out Timberland. As far as your family's uh, uh, reception to, you know, what I'm saying Bodak Yellow Lick, and you know, just kind of what you've been doing. How's your family reception to it? Man, you know, I got some cousins. I ain't know I had right yeah. now. <laughs> that's, that's when they start calling you. Phone. I didn't know, like this unknown, unknown. I don't know. Yo, you guys, yo, I'm checking my Facebook. Like, hey, cousin, I'm your cousin on your mama. Cousin him side. I said, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I said, oh. They had right. family reunions talking about how they taught you how to play yeah, the keyboard yeah. for the first like, time. I told you you was going to make it. I, I told put the you. keyboard in his hands. At, at one years old, I said, change your. Uh, I'm like, sweet guy. I'm, yo, no, you know what? Um, it, But it's cool, though. I like it. I, I expect it all. I, there you go, I, I love it. Bring it on. Come on. Bring on the love. There you go. I, I'll take love than hate in any day. You know what I mean? So if you my cousin, you think you're my cousin? Hit me up. Jay White did it on Instagram, everything. Just there you go. Hey, my Jay White did it. I don't Man, know who you is. <laughs> if, if you could, uh, if you, uh, let's say they made a, a real world for producers, and it's you and five other producers yeah. to be in a house together, yeah. dead or alive, uh, what producers would you want to be in, live in, in a house for six months? Well, man, you know what? I'm a person, I always believe in people who are, I got to be around people who are better than me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like I can learn from, so it got to be Timbaland, Dr. Dre, there you go. Jazzy Faye, uh, Quincy Jones. Uh, Species Mafia, man. You know DJ DJ oh, Paul yeah. and Juicy J, man. Them fools are dope making beats, man. Uh, I tell uh, you, don't get a lot of credit, man. Beats by the pound, man. No oh, limit. whoa, whoa! I forgot about. Oh, man, they do not. They do not get no, no limit. Yeah, they they, they 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 had an era. Yo, <laughs> they had an era. Beats by the pound. <laughs> <laughs> they, they yo, had an era. Beats by the pound. You know what? Honestly, I thought about. I was like, "Yo, I need that name, yo. I, <laughs> right, right. I want to say Beast by the Pound, but it was like, oh, so maybe I could use it again, cause <laughs> right. I got Beast by the Pound. I was like, I, I like Beast. I don't like Beast by the Load. Yeah, you know no, I got him by I the. Got, I got by the kilo. <laughs> yeah, Beast, Beast by the beast kilo. By the kilo. Beast, <laughs> hold on, wait, Beast, beast by, by the kilo. kilo. <laughs> That's kind of hard though. <laughs> they did have Beast by the Pound. Literally, they had Beats by the Pound. Yo, they, you know what? They, I'm like, yo, shout out to Beats, shout out to Beats by the Pound. <laughs> nah, for real. Man, so what? what's next? Do you got any other singles with Cardi B or anything? Man, we got you, are you producing her old whole shit? Because I bet after that Bodak Yellow, she probably like, shit. I'm going to stick with Jay White over here. <laughs> hey, yo, what up, <laughs> Jay White? What up, big head? Up. No, um. <laughs> <laughs> um right. man, that was a hard beat, by the way, if I ain't say that 13 times. What, what, what you want, um, Bodak? Motherfucking Bodak Yellow. That whole, that whole changed up by seven Duh. times. Duh. Like, shit. <laughs> that was Bro. a hard beat. I was like, if I'm gonna do a simple track, and he said ten minutes or so, man. Yeah, it was just, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a drug. It's eight oh eight heavy, man. Which is, you know what? She rolled that motherfucker, though, man. You know, it is. The track is so, the rules are broken on that track, man. Like I just made that beat. I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know where the hook was at. I didn't know where. No, I just placed. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's how I'm I, like, just make it work. That's how I, true artists create. Yeah, I, I was like, I'm not gonna structure this thing. You gonna just make this work. And I was like, okay, well, Cardi, she she didn't, she didn't took it all the way. Home. Oh, all right then, you know. But yeah, I mean, Bodak, that's a. I didn't think Bodak was gonna do it like that. I mean, I thought I was gonna right. do it, but I didn't make some hard beats, man. I didn't make some hard yeah, beats. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, hard, uh, when, uh, so like I said, man, you know, it's he, at least one. But but, not, but I knew it's gonna be hard though. I knew it, but I didn't know it's gonna have Kevin Hart. You know what I'm saying? And Khaled and 
you know, Obama will, not him yet, but you know what I'm but saying? Hey, they hey, man, when, you, the when, you see, when you see Trump gigging out. <laughs> now, if Trump out there make America vote back again, yo. <laughs> listen, listen. Man, Um, as far as just, uh, just you know, you as a person, as far as for the, the, the fans at home that want to know what's a day in the life of J.Y. as of right now, what's a day in the life like for you on man, a regular Right day? now, it's, it's flights, man. It's Flying back and forth, man, just to yeah. New York and riding that Atlanta. wave right now, man. Right, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just riding that wave, but then then in life is taking my son to football practice. You know, my my five year old to football practice, man. That's that's my day in life, really. I mean, just being daddy, really, man, and being a producer. That's my day in life. I'm simple. I'm I'm gonna go to Kroger, probably when I leave here, and get me um, some bread and some chicken or something like that, and get back to the studio, man. Like that's me. I'm talking about. Not no fancy studio. I'm talking about right back in the room <laughs> and make all my beats. I've made all my biggest records in Mesquite in the room. Do you um you know how you know how YouTubers do? Do you name your beats uh like uh this is a Cardi B type beat or do you make do you see like art when you make a beat do you see an artist on it? And do you like I I made Bodak for Cardi. Okay, bet, bet. that was Cardi because she yeah that, that you had her in mind when you when you she, cooked it up. Hell, she charged me up that day. I was, she she was like, "You making an R? No, I don't want R and B. I want trap." There you go. So I went, doom, doom, and it it came out. She if was uh, if uh you know OJ got out today and said uh man JY I need you to make me a beat man and uh, uh, give it a name. Uh, uh, OJ. Yeah OJ. Well, he's out now. I mean, oh, oh he's out. Oh, yeah yeah for, yeah. yeah. If, if if OJ hit you up and said say man I, I need a beat and you know want, want you to you know title it what would you title that beat? <laughs> what name? Uh, what name would you throw on? Man, oh, that's a crazy question, bro. Uh, <laughs> In the mind of Jay White, I got the juice. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, that might be turned up. I got the juice. <laughs> that might be turned up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might be turned up. <laughs> I that got the juice. I got the juice. I really yeah. got one question. It's not even for you. All right. <laughs> How did you not even? How did you not know that OJ was not out of jail? Please. Hey, I thought I, I was trying to pay for parole. I didn't know he had the bread. Bro, OJ seventy three, bro. He out. He out. I, I thought I, I thought he was still sitting, like waiting to get released. <laughs> <laughs> shout out OJ, man. That's, shout out OJ. That's Yo, my. I mean, I, I don't know if I shout out OJ, man. I don't know, man. Don't know. <laughs> real talk. Real <laughs> talk. Man, so uh, OJ boy, I, 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 ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say. Hey, that. for the producers that's out there, man, yeah. that's, that's young and out here getting, there's a lot of producers in Dallas coming up in the game. Yeah. Uh, what would you tell them as far as business wise? You know, because like I said earlier, a lot of producers do make beats and just kind of want that recognition. Yeah. Uh, how would you tell them to go about, you know, getting their business right as of right now? You know, even before they get to the fame. Business right, man. Just make sure you register your music. Make sure you register yourself on Sound Exchange. That's how you. That's how you pay off streams. Make sure you. Make sure your ASCAP and BMI info, CSAC stuff is straight. You know what I mean? That's really it. Just yeah. make sure that's good. Make sure your stuff is copyrighted, and you're good. Yeah. I mean, but most of all, stay consistent, man. That's stay it. Consistent. That's right. Man, before we get out of here, man, what's yeah. the craziest drug you done seen in a studio session a nigga do? Man, them pills, man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they be on the pills. <laughs> I mean, they be on the pills. I, I mean, Future didn't already talk about it here. I mean, on, on, on a, one of his big records, I mean, I, that's what I didn't see. So y'all didn't see lines of whatever. I, sometimes I'm like, what color is that? And how? <laughs> it's not white. I'm like, yeah, is, is it off white? What? <laughs> yeah. What is this? Yeah, I've, I've seen it all. Staying on the subject, have you ever just been like, man, we'll do this another time? You too high. <laughs> Dog, you know what? I don't. I don't say you too high. I just talk about. I, we just talk the whole session. You know what I'm saying? I, I just like you know what? This is over. I, you know, when, when I shut my computer, it's, it's a wrap. I, I know we done. Yeah. We order food and, and we, we 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 through. You know what I'm saying? I, I text my manager. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. And uh, that's it. Yeah, man. I, I just chill. Hey, uh, one uh one thing for the Dallas producers. What do you think uh we need to keep doing to 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 keep keep this momentum going? Stay here. Stay here, you man. Go. You get a high record, yo. Bring that budget to Dallas. It's we're it's so many dope people out here. It's so many dope people out here, man. Dope producers. I don't want to name everybody because I might forget somebody, but it's a lot of dope producers out here, man. That's what I would say. If you young and you got a hot record or you producing, you produce something big, yo, stay here. Stay yeah, in Dallas. What do you feel like the artists need to do? I know you've been around a couple of these superstars. Um, the, the Dallas artists? Or? Yeah, the Dallas artists to get to that level. You gotta be willing to. Uh, you gotta be open to growth and open to um, 
just uh, I say change, but in a good way though. Yeah. Um, it's 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 a science to this, and but it's not at the same time. I think uh, you gotta be open to listening, you know. And um, I'm a believer you can't do it by yourself. You know, um, I've been around some Dallas artists who I've tried to help, I've tried to coach, but uh, they have their vision and they still are, you know, where they at right now. Do you feel like I you know you get a lot of artists that actually mess with one producer for a whole project? Do you feel like that's beneficial or that's something that they should actually diverse themselves and mess with other producers? Man, it's good to be different and it's good to just get different, you know, sounds. But if you can do everything like, you know, myself, you know, uh Yeah, you can make it you can make a whole album sound. I can make a whole album. Person, I ain't gonna even front. I could yeah. make a whole sound. I can do a whole album and it'll be crazy, you know. But it's good to share the wealth, you know what I mean? There you go, there you go. And if you could uh, see anybody uh, on a uh, Bodak Yellow remix, who would you like to see on the uh, remix? Um, Drake. Be dope. I like Drake. That'll put I like you, Drake. Put you in the dope for real, for real with Fody. Hey, <laughs> you, you, you and Fody cooking man, up. I, I think, man. But look, there've been some artists, bro. Right now, they, they hit me up for that beat, bro. They they, they want me on that remix. There's a lot of them yeah. that hit me up personally. Yo, I, you're in that remix, bro, on Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, Plug damn. I'm like, oh, you to hit me up? Wow. But it be, I, I got beats, bro. Bro, I want that Bodak, though. I'm like, I can make another, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, Bodak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, 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 can, I can make a Wodak, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yo, let's go. <laughs> you know, <laughs> work work with me. I'm, you know, but um, Drake, though, bro. Drake or, uh, I don't know, Rihanna, man. I don't know, some old freaky be, stuff, man. That'll be dope, too. That'll be dope, too. Um. Man, go ahead and as far as uh, for the artists that want to get at you, man, and want to try to get a beat made, yeah. or, cause you know they about to, you, know, you know they about to blow you up, man. That's tell them, tell them how, tell them how to get at you, man. Tell them who to run, who to run it through. Man, like honestly, just uh, email me. Jay White did it. It's all simple. Gmail.com. Instagram. Jay White did it. Everything is Jay White did it. Everything is Jay White did it. Just J W H I T E did it. There you go. Twitter, Instagram. It's my last name officially now. It's, it's everything. It's Jay White did it. Whatever you, where, wherever. Jay White did it. There you go, man. You got any shout outs you want to give, Jay? Shout out to uh, Dallas, man. Honestly, man. Shout out to Growth and shout out to Positive Energy. You know what I'm saying? Any, any, anybody who's positive and trying to do something with their lives, especially here in the, in, in the triple, shout out to them. Real talk, real talk, man. You know, that hat, that hat you got is so appropriate, man. You know what I'm saying? Got that going up, on. you know what I mean? Because, uh, yeah, you're going straight to the moon, man. Straight to I'm, the moon I'm, with I'm, it. I'm trying to go somewhere with, you know. There you go. go. Sorry, we got stars in the building, man. Jay hey. White did it, man. Jay White, Bodak Yellow, man. Turn up. Go download it now. Go stream it now. Go play it on iTunes, let's, man. Number one. Real life street stars. Let's Turn get up. these in. Let's Ew. get these in. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.